the story all day. Yeah. A business that has close to 600 employees here in Logan. Right. I, today I met the CEO and president of Gosner Foods. Okay. She's also the great granddaughter of the founder. And for her, this is all about helping the community and keeping the family tradition alive. Kristen Earl is a new CEO and president of the family business. If you're eating Swiss cheese in the West, chances are it's probably our okay. cheese. That's because Gosner's produces about 20% of all the Swiss cheese in the country. In fact, 70% of the milk they take in from dairy farms becomes Swiss cheese. We make a great flavor of Swiss cheese and you can find it in stores all throughout the West. Uh, we do a lot of private labels, so maybe you won't be able to find a Gosner Foods logo on the cheese in your local store but a lot of the cheese that you consume under other labels is our product that we've put out. Still, Swiss isn't the only cheese that Gosner Foods, which started in Logan in 1966, produces. The company store offers all kinds of varieties of cheese and cheese spreads, as well as cheese curds. And of course, its other famous product, boxed milk. Oh, yeah, that's good strawberry. It's good. It comes in all kinds of flavors, chocolate, strawberry, root beer, and cookies and cream. It is heat treated. Uh, to a higher temperature than regular pasteurization, and then it's put into a box where no bacteria can get into it and spoil the milk. Gosner's is also known for how it helps the community. In addition to providing nearly 600 local jobs, the cheesemaker is leading the way in the fight against cancer in Cache Valley and recently donated $2 million to the Gosner Cancer Center at Logan Regional Intermountain Medical Center so patients can get all their care right here. Our hope is that cancer patients can stay close to home and they can spend more of those moments together as a family and they can focus on healing and fighting and, and spending those special moments together uh, instead of travel. I should also mention, we just got into that cancer part at the end. At 6 o'clock, we'll be talking to Gosner Foods some more okay. and talk about why they donated and how big of an impact that donation, which was a couple million dollars, has had here on people locally. And, and you are holding one huge platter right, of cheese. This is probably about one-fifth of the cheese that the Gosner's Food sent with us. So anyone who needs cheese, come down and visit it during, during our uh, pop-up <laughs> studio tour and we'll share. Well, while we eat the cheese, we'll toss it over to you, Dan, for a 